probably the worst thing that we saw in Indiana was parents coming into the office saying that the Gary Public School System had bused their children to Crown Point, Indiana to vote in the election. And, and that was great. That's a great civics lesson. But if children were being told to go to the polls and vote for Obama, in which they were, then parents were living. They were outraged and they wanted to know what could be done about this. And so they brought in an actual uh, slate of candidates that each student had been given uh, to take him to the polls to vote for Mr. Obama and his slate. That was atrocious because what lesson in civics were the kids learning that day? What? Win by any means necessary? Because the right to vote is a sacred vote in America, so how could we take school children, bust them on a school day, tell them who to vote for, then pay for their lunch and dis dismiss them from school early on taxpayer money? So yes, the voter fraud was rampant in Gary. Even um, that night when they were tallying the votes, and uh, we were all watching CNN or Fox News that night, um, the returns come in, and the mayor of Gary was on saying that they were going to count the absentee ballots by hand. When in fact, we had precinct inspectors on the phone at 11 o'clock at night saying that's a lie. We had to have those numbers, absentee ballots, turned into City Hall. They were picked up by Corey at 10.30 this morning. All of the numbers had to be at City Hall. So, uh, the voter fraud was amazing. And um, that's why I could never um, vote for Barack Obama. Um, people, we saw not only voters being harassed, but campaign workers like myself and others were harassed. I am still being harassed on the street where I live. If, if, if this is acceptable in American politics, then our country is in trouble.